This is Grayson doing some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And we're gonna holla at ya boys. Uh, yeah, cause that's super, um, super awesome to do. Uh, okay, so we got this dude over here. Uh, apparently I had to click on one of the quests and then these guys got highlighted, so I knew who to talk to. Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. Okay. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit. Now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release. And... Bullseye. How many more do I gotta get? Do I have to get all these? I don't remember. Thank you, Eivor. Now I have something for you. Oh. See, all in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. Oh, we're getting tattoos up in here. Alright, so let's go talk to this other person. Talk to... This dude. Oh, Tatsman. Tatsman. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Tovi says she is trying out some new tattoos. She is, and she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Ah, it looks so pretty. Oh, whoa. That's a trip. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, the eyes. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, he has that in the in the video already. I think I'll do something for the eyes too. So we'll do that. Uh, what else we got? Left arm. Nope. What's this? Oh no, I was right. Uh, the wolfies. I like the wolfies. Right arm. More wolfies. Or no, I'll do wolfies. Let's see what we got for back. Get all kinds of tatted up. Oh, that's kind of cool. I'll do that one. Beard. Do I want a beard? Oh, oh. Alrighty, well, uh, y'all can get back to me on this if there's a per like a preferred look. I'll totally do it. Um, you want them clean shaven? You want them with the uh, exotic beard? Look at me, you fool. You fool. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, I think this is the regular beard that he has right now. Also, we got the combed beard. Fancy beard. And original beard. I don't know why it's original when, like, we started off with the classic one. There we go. Now we can actually see, like, in all their beardy glory. Alrighty. So, yeah. Original. Fancy. Combed. Classic. Exotic. So right now I'm going to be sticking with the classic just because, I mean, that's just me. Um, I can also change the hair, it looks like. Uh, so we want him shaved. Oh, look at that. Looking all kinds of manly. Uh, shaved blonde. Oh, shaved blonde and dark brown. Okay. I can also change the color, I guess, based on that stuff. Uh, shaved redhead. Ooh. Oh, that's the scar. That's the scar. Uh, we've got this classic hair. And I think that's what he has right now, Like, but he's blonde. Uh, light brown. And then, okay, so it's just kind of the same hair colors, just different, or different colors, just same style. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm going to be sticking with that. Unless y'all want to see him shaved 
or red or dark brown or light brown so um, I'll leave that to y'all um, and I think we're pretty much set like I'm I'm digging it I like it I like the eyes that's probably my favorite part that one in the chest that's probably my two favorites is there something else nah see you later Swain sure GTFO I um I think that's it for all of this and of course like I said I'll be cleaning up uh, this map stuff later on and you'll see like little progression in the uh, in the right hand what is going on with that cursor alrighty let's go talk to the kingy let's go talk to the kingy they must be finished now the king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stubjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Githormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. I just realized I shaped my beard by accident. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. I don't know if I like him beardless, <laughs> but y'all can put that in the comments or something. I don't know if I want to say he's a coward because he is the king. Can't negotiate with brutes. Uh, I mean. The guy didn't seem brutish, so... Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Oh damn, big brother here. All right, let's go see our brother. Big brother Seagird. But I think I'm gonna put my beard back on. I gotta remember where that one dude was. Oh, there he is. So unless I hear nothing else, I'll go with my preferences. But y'all wanna do some customizations and stuff like that. By all means, drop it in the comments. Uh, I'll adjust accordingly. Um, 
I mean, if uh, if you prefer to me having a shield or a certain weapon, by all means, let me know. Um, however, if I do have some issues with it, then I might switch back, but I'll definitely give it a shot. Hey, hey careful with that one. Hey, boy! See you good. <laughs> oh, look at you, blood so drinker. Oh, have you been worried without me? Oh, and you, salt cured by Giga. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's <laughs> just the start. Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns, bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes, Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they oh. showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. Kind of like uh, Sigurd's hairstyle. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the wolf kissed was captured by Kyotve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. It was kind of weird walking in front of him. <laughs> My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan. And how we may end their terror. Once and for all, he has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. You get a lot of eye rolling in this game. I never really noticed that. <sighs> Through Rusland, we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. This way, you give the weight. Ooh. What do I get? Oh, I got people to talk to. Hi, <clears throat> Thum, is it? Yes? And you are Eivor? I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. Your mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. 
It will not be a problem. He's missing a finger. Oh, so that kind of puts this like. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. So, lost his right arm, but I'm his right arm. So that's a little foreshadowing, I'm guessing. And then, at least time-wise, if I remember correctly, it wasn't until the Renaissance game, which is Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, that they worked around losing the finger. So this is in between the first and the second, maybe? I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm just trying to like put things together, like timeline-wise. Okay, so we will see what he's got, and then probably in the episode. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Fornberg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringu. Now drink! <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame! Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start! It's good to have you back, Sigurd. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a heart longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Oh, someone didn't like that. Hytham is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and... and training. Please. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. Oh. I have no wish to hide this. And I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. Hmm. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. 
Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. And I think this is where we're probably going to end the episode. So, I am Grayson. This is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. We just got ourselves the Hidden Blade. And we're going to be doing some yours. training in just a little bit. Indeed. So, but I will catch y'all in the next episode. Too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. But not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. And we're going to end this right here. Until next time, take care, stay safe, and uh, you know what? I really do hope you're having a good day. And um, looking forward to uh, the hopefully upcoming year. Enjoy.